Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve problem number 78 which is related to the chapter of stress from the book of Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler. In this video we are being asked to calculate the minimum diameter of pins at B and C point of this mountain bike which is designed to support the load of 1500 Newton force with some other supplementary data. So let's solve this problem. So in order to determine the diameters of the pins, we should be knowing the forces acting on these pins. So therefore, let's determine the forces acting on these pins. For that, we have to draw the free body diagram. So one force of 1500 Newton force is acting at this point, A point. Another force in terms of this rod is acting, which is making an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal so this is fbd force now for uh, c point we don't know the exact direction of that that's why let's resolve it into its horizontal and vertical component let's say the horizontal component at this one and vertical component as this one let's name them as fcx and fcy so let's use the conditions of equilibrium to determine these unknown forces. Let's use third condition of equilibrium which is summation of all moments acting at any point equal to zero and let's consider this C point so that we will have zero moment caused by these two forces and taking clockwise moments as positive. Now this 1500 Newton force will be generating an anti-clockwise moment and some negative. The moment arm would be 300 plus 100 it means 400 millimeter. How about the FBD force since this is not acting in x and y direction so this should also be resolved into its horizontal and vertical component. Let's say this is horizontal component and this is vertical component. Let's name them as FPDX and FPDY. So FPDX would be FPD cos 60 and FPDY would be FPD sin 60. Since this FPD force is making an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal. Now FPDX will be generating clockwise moment and positive. So FPD cos 60 multiplied by the moment arm. So moment arm from here you can see this distance is 30 millimeter. So multiply it with 30. How about FPDY? FPDY will also be generating clockwise moment. So FPD sine 60 multiply by the moment arm which is 100 in this case. So multiply it with 100 equal to 0. So in this equation there is only one variable which is FPD and on doing calculation we will have FPD force as 5905.4 Newton. Now let's use other conditions of equilibrium to determine FCX and FCY. So let's use the first condition of equilibrium which is summation of all forces acting in x direction equal to 0 taking rightward forces as positive. So FCX is rightward directed hence positive. FBDX is leftward directed hence negative since we have now value of FBD which is 5905.4 cos 60 degree equal to 0 and from here we will have FCX as 2952.7 Newton. Now for FCY we will be using second condition of equilibrium which is summation of all forces acting in Y direction equal to 0 taking upward forces as positive. Since FCY is downward directed and negative FPDY is upward and positive we know FPD value now this 5905.4 multiply by sine 60 and this 1500 is downward directed hence negative so in this equation we have only FCY as variable so on doing calculation FCY is equal to 3614.2 to Newton. So now we have all the unknown forces. 
Now moving further for the determination of the diameter of these pins, we should be knowing the forces acting on these pins. We know the force acting on the B pin which is FPD force but we don't know the exact value of force which is acting on C point since we know the horizontal and vertical component. Therefore the resultant force acting at C point should be determined. So for resultant we have the formula of FC in the under root FCX square X square and FCY square. So on putting the value of FCY and FCX we will have the force acting on C pin as 4667 Newton. Since it is given to us that each pin is subjected to the double shear, it means the force acting on one side of the pin would be half of this. So the shear stress acting at B pin would be half of the total load 5905 divided by 2 this will give us 2952.7 Newton here force acting in C would be half of FC 4667 divided by 2 2333.5 Newton now it is given that uh, the failure shear stress is of 150 MPa of the material that we are using it means the shear failure is given which is 150 MPa but it is being asked that uh, the allowable is with the help of uh, factor of safety of 2 it should be then half of 150 means 75 MPa this is the allowable in the pins so now we have the global shear stress of the material which is 75 MPa and we know the forces now using the shear stress formula which is shear force divided by shear area we can determine the diameters let's determine the diameter for the b pin first so shear stress which is 75 mpa equal to shear force or shear area shear force is 2952.7 divided by the area which is pi by 4 d square and the diameter for the b pin since MPA and the Newton per millimeter square are same, so simplifying this, we will be having the diameter of B in terms of millimeter as 7.08 millimeter. Similarly, for the C pin, the shear area, allowable shear area is again 75 MBA, but the shear force is 233.5 divided by area, which is 5 by 4 D square. Now, the diameter of the C pin. So, on doing calculation, we will have diameter of C pin as 6.29 mm. Again, the concept is this is in terms of Newton per millimeter square therefore we are going to get the diameter in millimeter so now we have got the required diameter of both the pins of pin B and C of this mountain bike so this is all from this video where we have learned how we can calculate the diameter of the pins if the loading conditions and the structure of the bike is given to us so this is all from this video. Thank you for watching this video.